something. Thank you, Lockdown Chapman. Thank you for everyone for coming here. And uh, you know, the reason we come here today is for a very sad reason. The reason is because the <coughs> indigenous people in Chitwa Hill Tracks are being murdered, terrorized, raped, and that's why we are here. And it has been going on for many, many years, for more than 40 years since Bangladesh was created in 1971. And especially we came here today for a reason. About the beginning of this month, there was a very minor incident somewhere in Chiron Hitras called Longodu. There was a person who was who died in an accident, motorcycle accident. The settler using that as an excuse, they started attacking the, the, the innocent people. They burned down more than 250 houses and killed someone who is more than 75 years old by burning him her alive. But Bangladesh was not created to be a communal society, to be a country like ISIS or Taliban. It was created for everyone. In fact, in 1971, the indigenous people very enthusiastically joined the freedom fighting against the Pakistan. Only reason we did that was to live in peace, live in harmony with others. Because the Pakistan didn't allow us to live in harmony. There was always discrimination in jobs. There was persecution on the basis of faith. We thought that once we become independent, we become Bangladesh, we will live in harmony, in peace. But our dream never came true. Instead, since the first prime minister was murdered in 1975, the military government took over Bangladesh and they started sending army personnel the settlers to Chitwong Hill Tracks to terrorize us, to, uh, to drive us out from Chitwong Hill Tracks, which is never the reason why Bangladesh was created. And we come here today to protest the discrimination, persecution in Chitwong Hill Tracks that's going on for more than 40 years. Just to give you an just to give you a kind of an idea how much we have suffered, our population is less than 1 million. But Bangladesh military has perpetrated more than 14 massacres. And each massacre, they kill more than tens and hundreds of people, innocent people. Imagine that's happening to Bangladesh. That would be equivalent to Killing of the people of Chittagong, <coughs> more Chittagong. How many people in Chittagong? More than 10 million. Killing of all the people of Chittagong. They drove us out as refuge in 1986 to India. There we are about 10% of the people have to flee to India as a refugee. Imagine that to happening to Bangladesh. That would be equivalent to 15 million people living to India. That would be given to people of Nuakhali, Kumilla, Chitgong, all driven out of the country. So that's the, that's the amount of persecution we have suffered. And we see today there are also a lot of discrimination in other part of the country. And Bangladesh is one of the country that is very interested to solve the crisis in Myanmar, our neighboring country as well as in other part of the world which is very hypocritic because in itself it has a lot of injustice unless Bangladesh can solve its own injustice it will never have the credibility to solve the crisis in Myanmar or in other part of the world we 
want to live in Bangladesh in peace, in harmony. We are proud of being Bangladeshi. We are proud of, that's why we joined the 1971 Liberation War. We would like our life to be safe. We should be able to work in the street without fear of being murdered or raped. We don't want separatism or we don't want to be separate from Bangladesh. We want to be part of Bangladesh, but we want to live in peace and justice. The reason why Bangladesh was created was to be a just society and we want Bangladesh to be a just society. So that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Thank you to the